Creek Stewart here with Willow Haven Outdoor. And today, I'm going to demonstrate the fire making properties of the mullein plant. I have with me one dead dried mullein plant that I just harvested. It's now February, so this plant has been standing for um, a couple of months now. And I'm going to go through a series of ways that you can use this plant to make fire. The mullein plant itself is consisted of four main parts. The first is this seed pod top. This particular part of the plant, these little buds here on the bottom, make awesome initial, almost like nature made feather sticks for starting fires. Back in ancient times, native peoples and our ancestors were known to use the top of this seed pod as a nighttime torch. They would melt and drip pine sap on this, light it on fire, and when this is soaking wet with pine sap, it works as a huge, thick wick of sorts. And this can burn anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes when soaked in a pine resin. The next main element of the mullein plant is the stalk itself. The stalk is the absolute perfect material for a bow drill or a hand drill spindle. It also makes excellent firewood. The third component of the mullein plant is the root itself. For fire making properties, many people overlook this part of the plant, but it makes a perfect hand socket for a bow drill or mouth socket for a hand drill. And the fourth and last component of the mullein plant for fire making properties are the dried leaves themselves. The mullein plant stands anywhere from four to eight feet tall and the leaves are almost always dry. They're made of a material that is absolutely perfect for a tinder bundle or for the very beginning properties of a small fire. You'll want to choose the straightest portion of the stalk. This is about as straight as this stalk gets. It's got a couple of little bows in it. Okay, now that I have my spindle carved, I need to create the hearth board. And I'm going to do this from the very base of the plant, the plant that is the thickest, so that I've got the most surface area to work with. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this mullein plant as strategically as possible. right down the middle and split that into two halves that I can use as a hearth board. Okay, so I've taken a few minutes and assembled the pieces to my mullein uh, fire making set, if you will. Um, the first piece to this set is my tinder bundle, uh, which I've actually assembled from the dried leaves stripped right from the mullein stalk. I've just taken some grass and tied these up so that it makes a tight little bundle. The second pieces here are the small kindling uh, to fuel that bundle once, once I blow the coal into a flame. Um, I went ahead and I'm going to go with a bow drill method today. Uh, so I just, uh, just got a bow here with a piece of paracord. And then my hand socket is actually the root carved. Let me get in a little closer so you can see this. The hand socket is actually the root, uh, which is carved. Uh, this is the bottom portion of the root, and um, it's the hardest part on the plant, probably for sure, and it makes an excellent hand socket. Um, the bow drill spindle, um, I actually had to get a little bit creative on that. Um, this particular piece of mullein uh, was pretty soft, and so um, in my in my testing, the top of it kept splitting out in the hand socket. And so I actually took a piece of green maple, um, sharpened it to a point, and pushed it down into um, the soft pithy center of that mullein plant. And so that it wouldn't split out, I actually lashed a piece of paracord on the end. And so this is actually the top portion 
that spins in this mullen plant. And then the hearth board is just simply the, um, the mullen stalk itself split in half. I've got it shaved on the bottom so that it's nice and smooth. And i uh, got a couple of test drills there. So uh, we'll see if we can't generate a coal and get a little fire going. Well, so far so good. We've got a little coal that is burning very, very well. Boy, that smoke gets in your eyes, doesn't it? But there we go. Fire by Mullen. Used a little bit of paracord. Um, and I used a little piece of maple to do the splice here. But other than that, it's an entire Mullen plant fire. I've often heard the Mullen plant called a torch plant. Not only because you can use the head of this as a torch soaked in resin, uh, but it makes an excellent, excellent fire tool.